Hi, I'm Prof Al and welcome to Chemistry Matters. And today we are going to learn how to use a volumetric flask. Now, this is one of the, I guess, simpler pieces of apparatus you'll find in any chemistry lab anywhere. Um, but, again, you've got to know how to use these deceptively simple looking pieces of glassware. What we've done today is we've weighed a tiny amount of potassium permanganate solid into this volumetric flask and we're now going to make ourselves a standard solution of potassium permanganate. And that is what you use volumetric flasks for. You put in a known mass of a material, you weigh it accurately, and then you make a solution of it by adding a amount of uh, solvent and take it up exactly to the line which is inscribed on the volumetric flask and that will then give you a definite volume. In this case that is 100.0 millilitres. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. It is pretty straightforward stuff. All that we're going to do is to add water to this but there's a few tricks believe it or not uh, in doing something so simple. So here's our water bottle and we are going to add water here making sure that we wash all of the potassium permanganate into our solution which we've now done that looks pretty good and then before you fill it all up make sure that you dissolve everything okay it's a lot easier to dissolve it when the volumetric flask is half full uh, than it is when your level of your solvent for example is all the way up there so add a small amount of your solvent in this case water, give it a good shake until you're absolutely sure that all of the potassium permanganate has dissolved and it looks pretty much like it has and then you can get on to the serious business of making it up to the mark. So again take your water bottle and you can fill it up like this with your water bottle. Now again it's a good idea to maybe stop at this stage and again just give it a shake just to make sure that everything's nice and homogeneous um, as we will see and then water bottle water bottle more solvent in there more solvent in there now here's where people have troubles with these things now they reckon they've got such a steady hand often that they can fill up the uh, level of the liquid to be exactly on the mark on the volumetric flask and in my experience, no, you can't, no. Even I'm not gonna try it. So, you fill it up most of the way, most of the way, and then get yourself a Pasteur pipette and do the rest with a Pasteur pipette, okay? So we're in there and we're just adding it nicely dropwise and we'll need another here. And again, get down to eye level and you're looking, you're looking, you're looking. Once you get really, really close, then it's a good idea just to put it down on the bench, get right down there and make sure those last few drops are exactly accurate. So we're putting in nice and slowly and I think that's pretty good there. <clears throat> Right, so that's bang on the mark. Now, you might think that you're all finished now. You're not quite. First thing, here is your stopper. And this is what a lot of students forget to do, is, well, you can see it straight away. This is not a homogeneous solution, is it? You can see it's darker down here than it is up here. <laughs> Some students take it right up to the mark. They then put the stopper on it, forget it, and hope that it's just going to mix itself magically. It doesn't. So, please remember, after you've made it up to the mark, to just give it a few inversions, like so, until it's all absolutely homogeneous, and there you have now your nice standardized solution of uh, potassium permanganate. Now, another thing that I've seen a few students do and generally they're the ones who think that they can fill this up very easily using their water bottle. What will happen is that they will go over the mark. So they'll have too much water in there and then they think, oh heck, that's okay, 
I can just suck some out with my um, Pasteur pipette. No, you can't. You cannot do that. If you go over the mark, you've ruined it and you have to start again. You absolutely have to start again, okay? This, again, despite its simplicity, it's a precision piece of glassware. It's going to give you an extremely accurate volume, provided you um, do it correctly, I guess. Don't put too much water in there. Don't be tempted to fill it up all the way with this. It just won't work. Do use the Pasteur pipette to add those last few drops because um, then you won't go wrong. And do, 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 do remember to give it a shake before you use it. Okay, so there you go. Nice, quick, straightforward and easy. There now is your standardized solution of potassium permanganate in your 100 milliliter volumetric flask. Okay, so hopefully you now know um, what to do and what not to do when making up a standard solution in a volumetric flask. That's it from me today. We will see you in the next video when we'll learn how to use another piece of apparatus. So until then, we'll see you.